Welcome to my lecture online. Now we're going to turn the tables and instead of finding the acceleration vector starting with the position vector, we're going to find the position vector starting with the acceleration vector. So here it is. The acceleration vector is a function of time is equal to minus 32 in the j direction and we're given that the velocity at t equals 0 equals 0 and the position at t equals 0 equals 0. So what is the position vector as a function of time? Well, first we need to find the velocity vector. And by definition, the velocity vector is going to be equal to the integral of the acceleration vector. And of course, I should make that vector times dt. And so that will be equal to the integral of minus 32 in the j direction times dt, which is equal to minus 32t in the j direction plus a constant of integration. Of course, that constant will be a vector. Now we are told that when the velocity is equal to zero, or when time is equal to zero, the velocity is equal to zero. So to solve for the constant of integration, we can say that v, when t is equal to zero, is equal to zero, which is equal to minus 32, and that should be a three, uh, times zero. So let's fix that. There we go. Uh, in the j direction, plus c. And of course, since this is equal to zero, c must equal zero. So therefore, c is equal to zero. And we can say that the velocity vector as a function of time is equal to minus 32t in the j direction. So we're halfway there. We're not looking for the velocity vector. We're looking for the position vector. So now we can say that the position vector is going to be the integral of the velocity vector. That would be and that would be uh, times dt, and that would be equal to the integral of minus 32t in the j direction times dt. So when we integrate that, we get the following. This is equal to a minus 32t squared divided by 2 in the j direction plus a constant of integration again. Of course, simplifying that, that would be equal to minus 16 t squared in the j direction plus a constant of integration. Again, that constant is a vector. Now we're also given the fact that the position when time is equal to zero is zero. So when we plug in zeros there, we get minus 16 times zero squared plus the constant of integration, which shows us right away that that also must be zero. So therefore, c is equal to zero and the position vector as a function of time is equal to minus 16 t squared in the j direction. And so that's how we find the position vector starting with the acceleration vector. That's how it's done.